Remember, you have military bases. There's activity. So, if we're in a weather war, I suppose on the military bases you have your arsenal, and you also have the target that the other side of the war, if it's a weather war, is shooting at. Especially if this is your way of controlling the weather. I think I started to say earlier and I got distracted. Um, there is an article that discusses using high frequency as in all the abandoned television broadcast stations, among other things, but these radar sites would do just fine. Um, so the high frequency is used to help make the super low efficient, uh, super low frequencies, ultra low, very low frequencies of harp far more efficient. And the harp, even though it's extremely low, it's a gigawatt of peak to peak pulsed at a trillionth of a second. So it's pumping massive watts. And, although this may not make sense to anyone else, um, HARP is really an array of multi-beam dipole antennas. In a dipole antenna you have one element that's driven, and you have a wire going to each half of the dipole. Behind it you have a reflector, a parasitic element. In front of it you have directors. So there are also parasitic elements and you can have more than one. You have one reflector and multiple directors. <coughs> what HARP is doing is they're taking the ionosphere and they're striping it and they're ionizing it and they're making a virtual dipole antenna in the ionosphere to be able to channel the energy of the solar winds. And that was the first jump in scale from a billion watts to something much more massive. And the most recent ideas and research seem to show that it actually jumps another scale after that. Which is why I'm racing this stuff through. because I think they're playing with fire in a dynamite shed. See these little... Oh, well. I guess that's it. That was North Dakota. We'll go to South Dakota in a flash. <laughs>